guys we are here at tc's front porch outdoor cafe in navarre beach florida as you can tell this is a hole in the wall and there's my honey and we got outdoor music as well let me show you a little bit we're right off the main drag this is 98 i believe that is navarre beach over there they got a little park and a welcome center it really is very nice very nice so we heard a lot of good reports about this and we are going to check it out we ordered some good dishes so i'm going to get to the table and uh i'll ask my wife and she'll tell you all about it hey everyone so today charlie and i found uh, a great restaurant we were scouting around destin florida which is really beautiful lots of restaurants uh, we passed but this one uh, was recommended by a few people and um, we wanted to stop by it's called tc's front porch and um, tonight we are going to be ordering a seafood platter which has shrimp crab cakes and fried oysters but we're getting the other stuff grilled since last night we had fried we can't eat fried every night so and then we're going to get fried alligator bites so we're really excited to try these so stay tuned the alligator bites are going to be our starter right we we'll have any alligator bites as a start yeah. this is tc's front porch let me open this here's the menu they got some great starters there and soups and salads they got, we almost ordered the alligator and seafood gumbo but i talked amy into the the fried bites check this out guys burgers and dogs tacos quesadillas and the poor boys sandwiches and then the good stuff ours is a basket and that's what we ordered and we substituted it comes with mahi but we substituted grouper for that but anyway they've got a little bit of everything here we're looking forward to an awesome meal and uh we're just gonna sit here in anticipation check this out we got some alligator bites in the house check it out guys so this is how they normally them. come and let's we gotta... try one together okay let's see guys i love alligator it's white meat do you like it honey tastes like a chicken tender really and they too also nice. put in the in the um menu listen everybody must be doing it now flash fried these are quick fries not really deep when it's really fried a lot first of all it's extremely crusty and it turns almost a darker brown look how light this is i'm telling you this is really don't you agree i hope so well flash I think fry it, deep fry oh man alligator bites if you guys have never tried it del absolutely delicious and, and that's from the alligator tail the alligator is very edible very good meat you'll be surprised it's uh, a white meat yeah very white you'll be surprised how good it tastes so don't be afraid to stretch your borders a little bit and experiment that's what we do and really excuse me that's the fun of it I, I'm going to try rattlesnake one of these days. I heard it was really good. Really? Yeah. I hope it's a farm-raised rattlesnake that didn't eat a lot of rats. <laughs> oh, right? But, yeah, man. this is my first time trying it, and it definitely is very tender. I like it. it oh, yeah. It almost tastes like a calamari or the a consistency. chicken tender. And that's a very light fry. They're right. Flesh fry. She peeled up very... Look at this, guys. It's so little bit of fried stuff. Don't be afraid. I shouldn't be having fried foods either. They're not good for you. But oh, so delicious. What do you think? Well, I look at it like this. We're on vacation, so let's have a little fun. Let your hair hang so when down. when we get back into town, yeah. the look nice, at that. Uh, Just so little again. bit. 
Come on. This is so thin. The, the fry, they're right about that. This is great. We really enjoy ourselves. I hope you guys enjoy this. I wanna, I'd want i like you guys to... Seafood platter? Yes, Thank seafood you. platter. Come on down. Thank you. Anything else? No, we're good. Thank you very much. We just want you guys to, as much as we can, if we can pull you out of that camera right next to us, we want you to share the experience. So here, oh man. Out of this world. Love it. Thank you. This is seafood platter. Oh, buddy, this is heavy as all get up. There's no fries in here. No. Big, big we, we There is fried to do oysters. Collard greens instead, yeah. of, instead yeah. of French fries. And coleslaw. And I love collard greens. So, we're going to munch on this a little bit. What are you going to try? Uh, you want me to try something in there? Yeah, show everybody. Let's take all got. the sauces out here. Oh, yeah, delicious. Okay. And uh, this is the crab cake. Yeah, it came with the crab cake. And these are cakes. oysters? Yeah, fried I'm, oysters. I'm a big oyster freak. <laughs> yeah, well, it's cocktail sauce there, or however you like it. Okay. How is it? <clears throat> and shrimp. the first thing that I tried oysters are one of my favorites so let's go ahead and try the crab cakes wonderful it looks delicious okay very moist too oh very nice I'm gonna let you enjoy yourself first <laughs> you're on a roll on the crab cake I taste a lot of Creole type seasoning oh, nice. Bay. Um, it's a little too much but it's still a good Consistency though, I like it. I'll see if it's too much for me. All right, go ahead, go ahead, try it. I'm good. Now, we got also grouper. This is like six ounces of grouper in there. This is a $22 platter. To, that alone gets you a dish of grouper. But with that, crab cakes, oysters, shrimp, and collard green, good. Yeah. Taste is that good? Very nice. Bitter. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Well, I'm gonna delve in, but I wanted to show you guys how juicy that grouper is. This is all grilled. Now, what sauces do we have here for this? Anything? Cocktail tartar. Tartar sauce. I'm not yeah. sure what the other one is. I like a little bit of tartar sauce. Mmm. Good. Oh yeah, nice. And they did this so fast tonight. Look at that. Just look at that juiciness. Oh, I love tartar sauce. Mmm, 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 mmm. That is absolutely delicious. You guys are not going to be disappointed, I can promise you. Let me try the crab cake now. That is very moist, too, the crab cake. Oh, I like this. You, you think the it's the real seasoning? Oh yeah, they need more of it. Well, <laughs> I love it. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, I don't know if it's the luck of the Irish, but we have very rarely ever bombed out when we've been tasting these different restaurants, the entrees. We really, we've hit some real winners, haven't we? How is the uh, shrimp? It's grilled, I like that. Yeah, I'm gonna try it too. Back. You gotta use your hands. A little bit of, that's cocktail sauce, right? I'm gonna try this. Oh, real juicy, aren't it, huh? Look, I know a lot of you guys are really proper when you eat. You don't eat the tails, but now you see it, now you don't. I eat everything. Amy, um, she gets a little bit like weirded out when I eat the tails. They're really small. It's not bad, very juicy. And there really is meat in the tail, even though it's very small, but there's meat and it tastes really good. I've got to try the oysters. So we have three. That's no, what I like the best. Shrimp, grouper, crab cakes, and oysters. Come on. And two sides for $22.99. 
Guys, do we dip this in anything? Uh, try that one. What is that? That's that I'm not sure yet. ranch dressing with Thousand Island. I think it's made oh, for this. Like yeah. Is that Thousand Island? It's oh. a mixture of four that's tried different. That's what I thought. That's really good. Yeah. They're cooked Very just tough. right too. Nothing's raw. Yeah. <coughs> Nothing's undercooked. So we are going to munch down. And I don't know, maybe after this, we might even try dessert. But it is so cool. A roadside restaurant. It's an old time place. Looks like a rat shed, just a rat trap. And look at the food that comes out. Just, you gotta open up your horizons. You, never, you just never know some of the greasiest or things that you joke, we all judge a book by its cover. But if you give some of these restaurants a chance, even try an appetizer instead of a whole meal, and you get a real judge of how good the quality of of their uh, food. Well, All right, everyone. So my review on this restaurant is probably an eight out of ten. Um, I really enjoyed the fried oysters the best. I again, I don't want to eat a lot of fry, but. Honestly, when you're on Destin Beach, Navarre Beach, Pensacola Beach, at these crab shacks, they offer a lot of fried. I asked oh, if they yeah. had grilled. <clears throat> they didn't. Because I really love oysters and I would have loved them raw or grilled, but they only had a fried. But that was my favorite out of everything. The shrimp was excellent. Um, but that's what I liked. Uh, the gator bites, they were kind of small, um, in my opinion. Um, but very good meat. I liked it. I took some of the fried off and enjoyed the meat. So, um, yeah, I give it an 8 out of 10. Well, I'm trying to understand. This is the first time for Amy eating alligator bites. These were excellent. I think... I think the alligator bites tasted great. And they really were flash fried. Very, very, very minimal on the frying, which I gotta say, that's a big improvement. In the past, it was real crunchy and a whole lot less healthy. Nevertheless, they are fried. Uh, the grilled shrimp, really, they did a good job. They didn't dry them out. Very juicy, it was excellent with the cocktail sauce. The crab cakes, excellent, they were moist. Now, that's the first time I've eaten crab cakes that maintain the nice moist, they stay together, it wasn't that it was falling apart, it was undercooked, it was cooked. It was very moist. That means there's a lot of crab in that. They're very, I want to say a big thumbs up for that. Now the grouper, I have a question. I'm going to ask the lady when she comes back. There's a question in both our minds, if it was frozen and then cooked. Can I ask you something? Yeah. The grouper, was. is that fresh? Yes. Grilled? We get okay. it every morning. Excellent. Oh, oh wow. Well good, that was our cook. We're we're filming we didn't now. Know if it was frozen. And we wanted to make sure because that's that that's really a, a sign of a good restaurant. Oh, yeah. But thank you, everything was excellent. Awesome. I'm glad y'all liked it. Yes we did. So there's the answer guys, right from the horse's mouth. Fresh grilled. We just didn't know. It was excellent. It was six ounces of grouper. I'm telling you, I'm a big grouper fan and snapper. I love it. I'll take it over my Now we just have to catch one. Well, I did catch Gruber, but unfortunately I had to throw him back in. He was an inch. No, in fact, he was oversized. He was legal, but he wasn't in season. So that that can bite you big time. I'm going to say out of uh, 1 to 10, I'm going to give it a 9. Uh, I've had better in the shrimp and in the uh, grouper. I have had better. That's why we had a question. But do not misinterpret what I'm saying. It was excellent. In fact, we, we we have leftovers to take home. I just, you know, the key to eating right is eating just enough. Your body tells you when you had enough. So I had a great, great time tonight. If you come here, I can promise you, you won't be disappointed. There's a lot of good things on the menu. If you guys just like American food, dogs and, and uh, burgers, they've got it. It's a cool outdoor environment. You're outside here. This is Florida. These are beach, roadside cafes and grills. 
Florida's lined with this. So welcome to Florida life. This is how it is. And especially when you're on vacation, you're near the beach, you're not gonna find a Morton Steakhouse, a five star. You're not gonna find that. Everybody's relaxed, everybody's in tank tops, shorts, beach attire. This is what they serve and it's excellent. Just excellent. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know what side of the screen I'm going to have it on, but I want you to hit the subscribe button if you really enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, thanks so much for watching. These are the Real McCoy reviews. There's no fluff in this. We eat it, and I'll tell you if it was good or bad. I've had some bad reviews, and you guys on Chinese food and others, and you've seen it. So we like to be really straightforward with everything. We publish videos every week, sometimes more than one. And we want you guys to be abreast of everything we got going on. So we look forward to seeing you guys on the very next one and have a wonderful day.